Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Unauthor Blocks. My name is Mighty High, and the last episode we built this creeper farm behind me, uh, covered in blocks because it needs to be dark, but yeah. So this creeper farm is going really well actually. You can hear them die in the background along with the spiders, so that's all good. So this farm is going pretty well. I've already sold 22 stacks to Rem, um, so that's why we're running out um, since last time uh, we AFK'd here. Uh, we've got a few stacks in here, but not much, but we made 22 diamonds just from this farm alone, so can't really complain about that. And I've also um, increased the layers as well, so I've added another layer up there. As you can see the trapdoors. Did I forget? No, that's just the trapdoors for the spawning creepers. Okay, that's just me. Uh, yeah, so we've uh, added another layer and we've also enclosed the cats in trapdoors so they don't move around. And I've also got rid of the uh, trapdoors down on the bottom layer because the creepers seem to uh, get trapped in them on the hitbox. You wouldn't imagine it because it's literally only two pix three pixels even. But it does, so that's why we've done that. Hopefully every everything seems to be working quite smooth to be fair. The uh, items are going up into this chest, so that's all good. As you can see in here, we've got quite a lot of gunpowder. So I'm not going to go short on rockets for a good amount of time anyway. Um, not sure if I should sell any though, to be fair with you. Uh, so why don't we go up here and I'll show you what we'll be doing in today's episode. So we're back on the surface of the ocean for a change and that's where my iron farm is so it's running really well now so I'm really happy about this you can see them just like burning to death there. So we're going to be working on these guys today because I have quite a lot of them in here apparently there's over 50 of them there so uh, yeah. Uh, so what we need to, what I've got plans for is to build a massive trading hall with various segments to it for example like this would be the first segment where we uh, breed the villagers and then we need another segment where we convert them into a zombie villager then another one to convert them back then convert them again and vice versa until you feel ready that you want to send them back into a trading hall so there's various steps to do but I've come up with some kind of plan. It's going to be uh, somewhat different uh, here considering we are in the ocean but it's a good plan nonetheless so why don't we hop into my testing world and I'll show you. So here we are in my redstone testing world and this is the concept I've come up with. So this is how small I could fit it but, but on the server I think I'm going to make it a lot bigger and also add some uh, life into it as well like for example with the villagers we can have them going into some kind of building and then this building can be the conversion building and then pull them off somewhere else that kind of thought anyway but I'll show you the basics of what I've come up with anyway because I'm really proud of this so first of all we have our villagers coming out of a breeder so just pretend there was a breeder there and these villagers come out of it then we have some rail trickery here that allows the villager to go into a minecart and then it ends up here but you might think there's a hole there but that's why we've got this pressure plate here so if we ha we're on this pressure plate then the villager stays there um, so you can uh, change its job so let's just call a villager by pressing this button a villager in a minecart then it's a library librarian ah oh, we don't want that let's see what else we get no we don't want that and then you you get the gist really oh fire aspect one no that's crap as well so yeah and uh, blast protection four yeah that's a pretty decent trade so let's get some emeralds and trade with him so trading some paper with him he will now um, keep his trades so you don't have to worry about him losing his profession then you just step off the pressure plate that villager goes all the way down here into this then gets converted here as you can hear there um, then what we do is we come up on this platform here we press this button that calls the villager up here so we can cure him so once he's up here we can cure him so we just throw a splash potion of weakness 
give him a golden apple and you also want to name tag him as well so he doesn't despawn if you get 24 blocks away from him so let's just call him Ted and then all we do is we wait for this guy to be cured and then we repeat the process again so let's wait for this guy and then I'll show you what else happens Alright, so you notice there that he uh, fell out of the floor apparently because there's definitely a solid block there as you can see uh, but he's just like ended up going everywhere um, but where has he gone? There he is but he should have cheaper trades now and he does so you can get Blast Protection 4 for, a di uh, for an emerald now which is the concept we're using and obviously this is flawed because of what you've just seen but then I came up with this idea over here so what we can have is if we just get some so what I've got is I've got a villager spawn egg and also a minecart so a, a villager zombie even so we just uh, chuck a minecart in there yeah I don't have any roof on it so he's going to be burnt he should then get into the minecart you should then get into let's try that again shall we alright so <laughs> let's spawn a zombie villager and also a minecart no don't come towards me please okay uh, so it's now got a roof on it so let's try this again let's spawn you whilst you you should get into the minecart but apparently not there you go uh, you've gone the wrong way though buddy you've definitely gone the wrong way so let's try and get you back shall we before you burn there we go and then he goes into there and then this is just a holding cell for him so here what you can do then is splash potion golden apple and also give him a name tag as well which uh, yeah you get the point I'm just not going to bother with this example but yeah give him a name tag as well uh, what you could do is have this as a room and then have like loads of anvils around the place as well which would be cool and then if once he's cured into a villager so so once he's cured into a villager let's go over to here and say we've got a villager in here now we can press this button here which has minecarts in it apparently so when that zombie villager has turned into a normal villager we can press this button and he goes off into a holding cell and this is the holding cell I've come up with so we've already got a villager in here so let's show you how this works let's uh, spawn a villager and then get him in a minecart and show you so let's do that Hope no okay what is with mobs and minecarts now right okay you're going the wrong way buddy you're definitely going the wrong way yep you've definitely gone the wrong way <laughs> let's push you back there we go <laughs> and as you can see he gets pulled in down there and then he should pick up his job yep he has and we've got another librarian for with efficiency free that's pretty good actually but let's just trade some paper so yeah so that's the gist of what we're going to be building on the server so we're back on the server now and we need to figure out where everything's going to go bearing in mind that we've got this villager breeder here we've got the sugarcane farm there and nothing really else we've got a lot of room but it is water as well and redstone and water doesn't really mix very well so it's going to have to be a what a couple of blocks above the water as well which isn't really a problem because I'm sure we can come up with some pretty cool designs for this um, so yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan everything out so we've got the village breeder planned out but we need a way of getting these guys out which uh, isn't really conventional considering I'm using water and in my testing world I wasn't but I think we can sort that out soon enough um, then what we need to do is we need to plan an area to convert them and then plan an area what where they're going to be held so that's the idea so let's get on with that and I'll come back to you guys and we're back and we seem to have had a squid that's died anyway uh, so I've planned out everything we're going to do um, I haven't done, gone in detail because 
I'd rather get the redstone and all that jazz in first beforehand but I'll just go through the basics I've already explained it so this is going to be the area where all the villagers basically just come out of here um, but I need to make a better system than this but for now I'm just going to use this until they're all gone so the next thing is down there this um, concrete square here or brick stairs square shall I say let's just get up here quickly so this is going to be where they get converted into zombie villagers and named and all that jazz so we're going to have quite a few cells because I realized it's more time efficient to cure a load of zombies than it is to just cure one so that's the reason why we've got this and obviously they're going to be in separate cells so they can't attack the villager next to it if it was converted uh, and then above this we're actually just going to have the uh, trading hall so where all the zom uh, villagers are cheap and then if need be we can just bring them back down here again and then we might have a disposal unit as well out in the back but I'll get to that if we need to so what I need to do now is probably start working on some of the redstone and also try and get a zombie villager as well so let's do that and I'll be back with you guys with an update alright so I need to drain this area and Toby's come here to lend me some sponge so yeah that's nice of him and I'll uh, pop some diamonds in a chest for him as well once I finish with them so at least that's good because I've got it's not really that much uh, yeah. it's not really a big area I need to drain but it makes it a lot easier if uh, I do have sponge because using sand is just going to be annoying um, although it's doable uh, but I think this design is going to be looking pretty cool um, there's not really much redstone involved in this place so it's not really going to matter I'm going to concentrate on looks but then I will get the uh, redstone in over there as well I might even uh, dig it down a bit as well like I'm doing here that could be interesting so I've got the first part sorted out now this part is basically to get the villagers in a minecart and also separate the babies as well and I've done that warp stream wrong so give me a minute right I've fixed that now so everything should be working I it was just this water stream here it needed to be facing that here so that the villagers drop down here basically and end up there and I have just left that rail in there as well so let's get rid of that not that it really matters to be fair but anyway so yeah so now hopefully this should work we do need to get the villagers in there which means oh they're just golems <laughs> uh, which means breaking that block there in front of me and hopefully they'll just end up in this stream but it is villagers we're talking about so if we this is going to be a pain in the butt considering there's water there as well so if we break that block there uh, I did use silk touch good but oh well and then that block they should be able to get out from there and it looks like they are yep cool we're seeing villagers coming out nice only a few but it's still enough and then they end up there so it is working nice and then that water there down there is to um, prevent them from basically uh, taking full damage when they fall down there basically so this is working all right I do need to get them villagers out at some point so yeah so we've got this sorted out now so the next thing to do is to sort out where the villagers are going to go to uh, get transformed into a zombie all right so I think we've got most of this system sorted out this is only half of it by the way this is the villager conversion system so I'll just go through it quickly as we saw in the last clip we've got the villagers sorted out over there so they're down there then we've got um, the rail cart that leads down there up here so we can sort the villagers out and the trades and stuff so for example a lectern would be a villager and so on and so forth blast furnaces 
would be uh, armor smiths and all that. So what I've got here is we've got a press plate here to basically um, stop the villager from pathfinding. Um, so if you just put put a block in front of them, apparently it stops them from pathfinding, and also it um, keeps you in here so you know that um, not to move. Um, when you're sorting out the villager basically and then when we come off it we can then should see the villager drop down here but I've missed the piston out haven't I indeed I have or is that just me no there is a piston there that's not being powered though is it that should be powered right so I've got that sorted out now uh, so yeah if we stand on this pressure plate you can see that that piston extends as well so that the villager d stays here um, so let's call a villager and try and test this so if we press this button this should call a villager and we should see one up here and we do so that's good so now we can give it a profession this is a librarian curse of vanishing uh, the problem is um, yeah that is a bit of a problem that you can't break it and collect it again uh, didn't think that one through did I so as I was saying we want a decent librarian really just because of name tags but if he has a decent book then that would be good as well sweeping edge is pretty decent but mending or something like that would be better preferably unbreaking as well as pr a pretty decent book to get as well so that might be good sweeping edge free again so he's not changed he might not until the next day now actually thinking about it where's the sun yeah i don't think he's going to change until the next day now so let's wait for the night to come sleep and then we can come back to this guy in the morning right so this guy has changed his profession again to unemployed so I was thinking we could do it on this block but it's just a bit annoying to uh, like shift over and click on the villager and that happens as well so yeah although you can get him through the hitbox of the uh, lanterns lantern lectern even um, so that's not too bad quick charge 2 isn't really good though so let's change that again to and we get blast protection no nope, that's not good at all oh that's really good looting free for 12 emeralds that is I, I can't believe it I need to uh, lock that trade in um, but I can't because I don't have any books so I need to get some paper instead where's my sugarcane farm just over there trade with this guy so we lock his trades in good he probably won't level up anytime soon but we basically need to level this guy up to master which uh, could take a while so yeah I really need to get some books though um, but anyway so let's test the rest of this system as well so now we've traded with him I need to figure out a good way to sort out the um, workstations basically but I, I, I should hopefully find a decent way of doing that so now we should be able to get rid of that he won't lose his trades uh, as you can see he's still got his trades so let's just push him in down here to or just do that to simulate that it was actually on a car uh, what is going on here he's actually in this block is he right okay that makes a lot of sense right let's push him down here so as you saw he came down there through there and over to here so this area is where we would then transform the villager into a zombie villager via a zombie in that hole there um, and then after he's been transformed into a zombie villager we would then give him a name tag here I would suppose um, so I don't have any name tags at the moment but that's what we would do if it was a zombie villager just pretend he is so then after that we press this button he goes down through this rail down here or should be uh, apparently not 
Okay, really not entirely sure what happened there. Might need to change that a tiny bit. But yeah, he should go through here. Then he should go up there and into one of these cells. And that actually worked. It's really quite quick, to be fair with you. Basically, they get ejected from this uh, track here, the, uh, power, the activator rail. Then they hit this string here because they get ejected onto this block. That observer pulls a piston back pushing it into that cell there and then what I do need to do though is basically have a pressure plate here that will turn off that um, activator rail up there so that's not going to be too hard although I completely forgot about that in all fairness uh, so yeah there's still a few little bugs and things that I forgot but we're making pretty good progress Right, so I think I've sorted the redstone out in this holding cell now, so they're separate cells for each zombie villager, and therefore villager I suppose. I mean technically you could just um, use this and uh, convert them there, and then convert them here and wait until they are. That would probably be a simpler way of doing it, because I was thinking having a holding cell here for the zombie villagers, and then moving them to a similar cell for the actual trading but thinking about it it's probably just a good idea to leave them here once they've been uh, uh, zombified I guess um, and then try and figure out a way we can get them back to the zombie after uh, that would be a good way of doing it I guess uh, so we're pretty much almost there um, but let's test this anyway I guess because it's good to uh, I still need to get a zombie villager in here, so I'm probably just going to use the one down where my iron farm is, to be fair, because he's already there. Um, so let's get over here where we actually summon a villager. So hopefully this works out well now. So, right, so we're here now. I've got a couple of lectins on me, so let's hope we get something decent. I suppose we can go for another village, um, librarian. Oh, we've run out of villagers down there by the looks of things. Yep, we have. So I need to move these guys into this water stream somehow. Right, so I've got a bucket now. So if I remove this water source and move it there, they should, that should then, um, hopefully get them to move. Oh, look at them go. Uh, let's place it there. And then, yeah, that's it. That's the one. Just look at him go. Let's take a fun screenshot of that actually. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Break that one. And there we go. And then we can just do that as well. Nice. Done it. And look at him go. All the way to there. And it wouldn't surprise me if some of them are entity cramming to be fair with you. Are any of them going to actually... I'm really surprised at that. None of them died. <laughs> so I had less than I thought. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And the water stream looks good. So not going to worry about that. I'm not missing a block there. So that's good. Cool. So everything works here. That's all good to know. Let's now summon a villager. Press this button to summon a villager. Yep. Here we go. Here he is. So let's try and put it down here. Yep, he does want the job. Looting too. What is it with looting? I don't need looting anymore. Right, okay, so this is where he gets converted. So let's press this button and hopefully he goes into one of these cells. So he should go up there into that cell there. Right, I think I do need to change that again then. But yeah, let's do that. And yep, he's in. He's in. And now he loses his job. <laughs> now you want to, buddy. <laughs> Oh well. Anyway, let's just place a lectern in there. And we can do the trading thing down here, I guess. If he wants me to trade, that is. Alright, so this guy's got Sweeping Edge free for 14 emeralds. And he's also got the bookshelf trade as well. So that might be worth keeping. Having saying that, we should just put our resources in this guy. So it doesn't really matter what this guy has, in all fairness. So let's just keep going and see what else we get. Although, having saying that, it's the next day by the looks of it. He doesn't want to work anymore. Yep, the sun's pretty much there. So let's get a sweeping edge free book then. Or just bookshelves. Yep, that'll do. 
I'll grab some bookshelves off you and get a sweeping edge free book by just breaking these with my axe or iron axe in this case and then we've got some books to grab the sweeping edge nice and he's also locked there as well so that's good to know all right folks so it seems like out of these two villages i've actually got the infinite book trade so i can get bookshelves from this guy for three emeralds or six emeralds by the looks of things uh, and then i can get one book for four uh, sorry four books for one emerald so there's a potential if that goes down to actually go to one book and emerald and then I can get the infinite book trade from there really um, so yeah and that is fire protection too so that's not good but yeah so let's uh, do that and see how many emeralds we can grab I guess alright ladies and gentlemen so we've got that guy over there to master level I'll show you that in a minute but we've also got a zombie here so I've just been seeing if we can trap him without getting hurt too much. Uh, although I do find it hard to trap these guys sometimes. Come on, get in the hole, please. I'm right here. Yes. Can we? Please, please, please. Let me place a block. No. No. Let me place a block. Let me place a block. All I want to do is place a block. No. Let me place a block. Let me place a block. All I want to do is place a block. Let me place it. Oh, This guy's going to be a pain to trap, isn't he? Uh, I don't have anything on me I can use either. Uh, I could probably... Uh, what? What did the server just do? What? Oh, good. Yes, we've got... Oh, no. What? We had him then. We had him. We had him. We've got him now. Yes. Right, so he can just stay there in a minute. Let's show you this guy because he's now unlocked to master level as we can see here. So he's now got name tags for sale. So let's grab a name tag. I think I'll probably need to make an anvil as well. So we've got an anvil here. So let's name it... Um, let's not name it because if you just saw that in the middle of the in the corner, he died. I'm assuming he got he burnt up because his helmet broke. That's the only logical explanation. So, yeah, that was kind of a waste of time. But let's uh name. Don't know why. Just Tom. Uh, if you guys know any other good names, then I'll be glad to uh name it something else but Tom will do so I'm not entirely sure where this guy spawned but we've got another guy so let's try and trap this one <laughs> this is going to be interesting probably won't work out the way I want it either so let's try and put a roof over him too um, we do that come on and then there come on buddy and then there yes he's trapped good and then we can name him Tom and then put a roof over him and he should be there good we've got him yes we've trapped him now we just need to move him over to here I think yeah it is it's literally in this corner here um, so yeah and I really don't know where they're spawning from either it's possible they spawned from there but if they did then I shouldn't be able to get out anyway um that's by the by we do need to get this guy in there though so that's going to be a pain in the butt right so i've made it over to my house in the city to make some potions of weakness because i don't have a brewing stand over there where my base is i don't know why um but i don't really brew much but it's probably easier to make a potion of weakness to uh coax the zombie so it doesn't hurt you basically so now let's just add some gunpowder to that to make it splash potion and then we can uh, sort this zombie out it is night as well so I should probably sleep 
so we're back here now and I've got my potions of weakness I probably should have made more because I do intend to uh, convert this villager back but I've got some golden apples here so that's all good for now uh, so the idea for now um, because this episode's getting on a bit is basically convert this villager first and then next episode we are worry about getting Tom up into the conversion area so I think that's a good idea for now because um, I just realized how long this episode's going to be to be fair with you uh, so yeah so and then hopefully this guy can get cheaper um, name tag trades as well so this is going to be a bit annoying but hopefully we can do it so let's try and figure something out we can do and I'll be back with you in a minute so I think I've got something quick and simple sorted out so the idea is that this trapdoor acts as a block that the zombie thinks it can walk over so it should fall into this hole um, and then I'm hoping it can attack the villager from the corner it will be the slower way of doing it but I think it should um, so let's try this set Tom loose and hope for the best I guess so let's set him loose he should now be on me and I didn't even need to name him by the looks of things because he's got a block on him as well so <laughs> that's a bit annoying but yes he's down there nice so now we can uh, close that up let's just put a block on the top of him so he doesn't burn let's do that and it doesn't look like he wants to attack the villager does it right so Tom has been uh, converted as you guys saw he won't have any trades now but we should be able to convert him back so can we put a block there we can good so now hopefully nothing should happen to to this guy um, so if we just throw a splash potion of weakness on him yes we did weaken ourselves as well and give him a golden apple like so he should now turn back into a villager within the next five minutes or so I guess so let's just wait for that and there we have it and we've also got the achievement zombie doctor which is awesome so now we've cured this guy I'm hoping that zombie won't be able to attack him uh, what's his trades like nice one emerald for a book so we've definitely got the uh, book trade down we've got looting for one emerald uh, probably should have done this to begin with to be fair but oh well uh, 17 paper what's his paper trades tags 13 emeralds so that's pretty good so now what we can do is we can go to this guy get some bookshelves right so we've got three bookshelves we put these down we mine them with an axe in this case just a iron axe and then we get some books oh no uh, this one nine books nine emeralds and then we just repeat the process unfortunately ladies and gentlemen I am out of time for today's episode so thank you very much for watching my name is mighty high if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads I've been mighty high and thank you very much for watching. Good.